Although Malta is a small country in Europe, it is a very popular tourist destination for its great weather and food. According to a recent report, out of 64 countries, Malta ranked first in overall job satisfaction, followed by US and United Kingdom, and globally fifth best in the medical industry, according to World Health Organization reports. In Malta, they have two official languages, English and Maltese. No wonder there's been a great inflow of internationally educated nurses into Malta over the past five years. In this video, I'll share with you how to migrate to Malta as a registered nurse. And if you wish to migrate from Malta to the United Kingdom, you can also do that without the need for English language test, which I'll also be sharing with you in this video. If this information interests you, kindly keep watching this video. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are watching me for the first time, my name is Nassim J. And to all of my old and returning subscribers, thank you for your continuous support. On this channel, I share with you career tips centered around nursing practice in the United Kingdom, migration tips, and I also share lifestyle vlogs. So if this kind of content interests you, kindly subscribe to this YouTube channel and turn my post notification bell on. So you are the first to get notified notified when I drop new videos. Just before I proceed, I am not an immigration officer, neither am I a recruiter. All I do is solve the internet for useful information and I share it with you. So be careful, there are individuals in the comment section pretending to be me or pretending to work with or for me. There's no such thing. If you'd love to reach me personally, kindly send me an email at nosmj01 at gmail dot com without wasting much of our time let us get started for you to practice in Malta as a registered nurse you need to be registered with the nursing and midwifery council of Malta. just to let you know this registration process is not difficult at all it is not complicated all you need to do is have all of the necessary requirements and you are good to go but before we go right into the registration process i would like to point out few things the average pay for registered nurses in mortar is around 38,976 euros per annum best part is that they only pay 15 percent income tax which is one of the reasons why a lot of nurses go into mortar Cost of living in Malta is quite and reasonably affordable and crime rate is relatively low. They have downside to this registration. If you are above 45 years old, you might not be able to go through this registration. Work gap should not be more than four to five years. So it means that if you have been practicing and you had a reason to stop practicing, it should not, that stop should not be more than four to five years you need a valid international passport you need to be a registered nurse of course not a student you are a registered nurse and you also need at least one year post qualification experience either you have a diploma or a degree you can register with nothing and midwifery council of motor now let me give you a list of the documents that you require and i also talk you through the registration process so for the registration, you're going to need your appli the application form. I'm going to drop the link to the application form so you can download it. You need to fill the application form and then you need your transcript of studies showing the number of hours of theoretical training and clinical practice. You're also going to need your birth certificate. You need your professional certificate such as a diploma or degree, non-EU, nursing, bridging course certificate. You need a valid IELTS certificate. Average score of at least six is for the IELTS. And if it's OET, you need at least a B in speaking and C plus in reading, writing, and listening. You need your passport document. Of course, I always say when you start this process, you need a valid passport. You need your Europass um cv this is simply your cv in their own kind of method you need a recent um 
police conduct certificate and it should not be more than three months in its validity you need a verification of your license this is very important and this is going to come from your licensing body straight up to the council for nurses and midwife in malta you also need your mq rate recognition letter and mq rate is a body that evaluates your credentials your academic credentials against the standard acceptable in malta which is level five or six and they will certify that you are good to go to practice in Malta. You also need to provide a copy of your transfer of payment. This is slightly outdated because now you make this whole application online. I'll give you the link to commence your application and we also go through the application process. You're going to need a copy of your MCAS or University of Malta acceptance letter if attending one of the non-EU nursing bridging courses. And this is now really a, a mandatory training for every non-EU registered nurse that wants to practice in mortar and we're going to talk about it a little bit much more later M Curic is like a body that evaluates your academic credentials you know your certificate and everything and compares it against the academic or educational status in mortar so they check it out and see that they are on the same level and this certificate um report should not be less than five to level five to six okay that is the ranking that they give each qualification so mqri will provide you with this recognition letter this certificate which you will be submitting for your application i think it's more reasonable for you to actually get your mqri certificates before you start any other thing now starting from the 12th of september 2022 all applications from non-eu trained nurses and midwives are to be submitted online so they now have a nursing portal that you can create and submit your applications upload your documents and make your payments Another update from last year, November, is that all non-EU applicants for nursing registration are required to provide reference letters to confirm that they have practiced the nursing profession, a valid registration certificate, and certificate of good standing status from the council of the country where they completed the nursing program, and they are required to attend one of the non-EU nursing courses. Offered by MCAS, IDEA, and University of Malta. Applicants may submit their application for registration as soon as they have received an acceptance letter from one of the educational institutions mentioned above. Remember I mentioned earlier that your study gap should not be more than four to five years and you need at least one year post-qualification experience. So applicants who don't fit into this criteria, they will have to successfully complete an approved bridging program. So here is one of the approved uh, universities for the bridging program. This is the University of Malta's website and it's showcasing the program, the bridging program, which is solely available for non-EU applicants. So this program is to bridge the gap between the nursing studies in their home country and what's obtainable in motor the fee is about five thousand four hundred so basically you need to apply to this university get your acceptance letter so that you can apply successfully to nursing and midwifery council of motor so here is the application guide that was provided by council for nurses and midwives motor and i'm gonna show you how to use this quickly and i'll also drop the link to this application guide so that it can guide you as you make your application yourself so once you log in through this link it will bring you to this page you then need to log in with custom authentication that's what you select as a non mortals applicant now as a first time applicant you don't have a username or password so you need to sign up once you sign up the application registration page will pop up and then you have step one and two step one is your personal details step two is for your contact details make sure you fill all of this properly and you're going to provide a passport photograph 
So once you put in your personal details and your contact details, you can then start your application. You'll be registering on the temporary register, which lasts 24 months. You start with your first registration. I mean, the very first license that you hold, you put in all your qualifications, all your specialty training. You also need to provide your work experiences you need to upload your IELTS results and also the application form as additional documents. Documents that need to come from the institution directly, we also go directly. You indicate this and tick off the acknowledgement boxes. And this is a sample of what your page will look like once you have, you have uploaded your document. You can proceed to making your payment, which is now online, making use of your card, which costs around 192.50 euros. Also drop the link for you to download this application form so that you can fill it. Filling of this application form is also very self-directory, but make sure that you do not make any error that will slow down your application. So you give this body some time for them to process your application. In the process of, you know, going through or reviewing your application, they will reach out to you if you need to provide any additional proof that we help with your application. This brings you to the end of a registration and in the description I'll leave you the links to some of the institutions that you can visit for you to apply for this bridging program. Now the requirements for registration have not been changed and applicants who have all the requirements and are deemed to be eligible for registration by the council, we have to successfully pass the language and professional proficiency interview and submit a non-EU bridging course. So once your application has been approved, then you will be invited to take your professional proficiency interview. And this interview is a face-to-face -face interview that takes place in Malta. After the successful completion of your bridging program, you can now practice in Malta as a registered nurse. So the next thing you want to do is to start looking for a job. When I was surfing the internet, I came across some agencies that are happy to see you through this application process and also some websites where you can get a job. Number one on my list is LinkedIn. On LinkedIn, you can get jobs in Malta. A lot of employers are there that are ready to give you a job in Malta. The website that I came across where you can get a job is MaltaRecruiting.com. On this website, you just need to create a profile with them and they will reach out to you careerjet.com is another website that i came across where you can get nursing jobs in mortar over time i get to share more vacancies with you along the line on this youtube channel so make sure you stick around global placement is another recruitment agency that i came across in my search and they are situated in india so it means if you're in india or if you're from india you have a higher chance of getting employed by this agency their own requirements slightly differ i think it's based on some of the benefits that they offer so um you can contact this agency to learn more about their whole application process coming from Malta to united kingdom you will need to register with nothing and midwife frequency uk but this time around you don't need to provide your english language test you only need a supporting information or supporting reference from your employer that you are trained and you have been practicing and treating patients in english Let's talk about your visa application process. As a non-EU applicant, you're considered a third country national and you need a work permit for you to work and reside in Malta. Once your application with CNM has been successful, you will apply for jobs and your employer will process your work permit permit if you have come in for your bridging program at the end of your bridging program you get a job and your employer will still apply for your work permits 
over time i get to share with you a list of hospitals that are recruited in Malta, and you can get familiar with applying for jobs all the links to all of the um, information and the references for this video will be in the description so don't forget to check this video's description found this video useful kindly give me a thumbs up if you still got questions please drop it in the comment section if you know anyone in Malta, a nurse in Malta currently practicing kindly connect them to me i love to have discussion with them or if you're a nurse in the comment section and you are in Malta and you'd love to share more updates regarding practicing in Malta, please leave a comment in the comment section or send me an email at nursemjo1 at gmail.com enjoy the rest of your day bye